Probably to the right back. I thought it was going to take two or three weeks, but I've decided to at least do the unboxing of RAN. RAN is part of the Great Battles of History series from GMT Games. Um, and it deals with warfare in the Sengoku Jidai 16th and 17th century Japan. So this was the time of the shoguns. Um, basically the shoguns are a warrior caste. Well, to put it really, really simply. Um, and they were kind of openly visible. They were fighting each other, there were different clans, and the Japanese emperor, the Tenno, was always there, but he became kind of a puppet during certain eras of Japanese history. Um, this box contains one, two, it contains seven different battles. Um, it starts in 1569 and goes on until 1615. And it's supposed to be quite complex. The complexity is level 6 out of 9 and its solitaire suitability is level 8 out of 9. So it's really, really, really suitable. Um, I'm going to unbox it now quickly and then I've already, I've already read the rules. So I'm going to restudy them over the weekend and then the week after next I'll be, I'll be off work to do some kitten taming and then I'll be happy get this one on the table. But here we go with the unboxing. First of all, the box art itself is beautiful. I really like it. Um, and here you can see the... And there's a little shogun. Uh, you can see the uh, Japanese for Ran. Um, Ran, incidentally, is also the name of a film by Akira Kurosawa. Um, it's his take on the Shakespearean story of King Lear and Ran can mean strife, war, trouble uh, and this is what it's about. So let's unbox this. This box was packed by Minges. Thank you very much. We have the bags, we have the die. So we also have a an interesting piece of, I don't know, an interesting piece of, well, it's a pamphlet for something. So you enjoy playing Ran. Perhaps you might enjoy a samurai game that takes the wars of the Sengoku to the next level. Killer Katanas 2. Never heard of this. I'll have to check it out. I don't know what this is, but hey, it's in here. Then we've got the maps. Your average normal GMT map that you know and are familiar with. What they have done this time round is they have put on information in the margins, diral information down here. Um, I don't know if you can see this, probably not very well. Yeah, I'm actually going to get myself a new camera, so you'll be delighted to hear. There is information down here, it talks about shock combat results table, blah, blah, blah. So that's actually quite nice because usually this comes as part of a, as part of a, uh, chart that you have to um, put somewhere but I like it when it's on the map actually. Here's another one. Oh yeah, and the little shogun has found the die. That's important. Um, again, very nice maps. Oh yeah, there's something that I forgot. One of those maps apparently has an error. Um, so you can print off the real map or the, the, the amended map from from the um, GMT website. Um, these 
these five hexes are supposed to be uh, rice paddies, but on the actual map apparently they're not. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to cut this out and then place it over the map. I have no issue with this. Um, it'll be fine. Then we have the counters. I'll have to scan those for future reference, just in case I lose one. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's plenty of counters. We have charts and tables, card one. Clash of arms charts, shock combat results, fire table, shock resolution procedure, very nice. And card two is contingent flight tables. Um, then we have the terrain charts for the different areas on another card. And oh, they actually come on two cards. Card five is also to do with TQ checks, reaction withdrawal, order summary, um, leadership summary chart, the run record sheet. Very interesting. Um, the art is somewhat, well, plain and it's black and white, uh, but it's it's got um, a space here for your severed heads so i'm really interested in in seeing in seeing this so i'm going to sever some heads apparently and i'm going to place them in here then we've got the scenario book normal scenario book it's printed on really thick paper and it's got a counter manifest as well on the back so nothing out of the ordinary then we've got the round rule book um i checked online uh, the rule book has not been changed. There are no changes to it, but I downloaded it as far as I can tell I downloaded it anyway because um, I like to you know sometimes highlight stuff and I would never do that to my original stuff So this is the unboxing of Ran And um, like I said probably next week I'll break this one out um, but first counter scanning and then counter punching and no counter clipping Thank you very much. Bye.